how gratitude builds in resilience, that the emotions of gratitude were actually building resilience so that I could get out of bed and write the book. And then the second half happened because anybody can write a book about gratitude and resilience and feelings and all that kind of stuff. But guess what? Only a person who understood the New Testament and the structure of ancient Rome could write a book about the politics of gratitude. So I move from gratitude as a feeling to the radical practice of gratitude as the thing we most need right now to take down the oppressive structure of politics and replace it with a table just as Jesus always intended. I really understood for the first time in my life what Jesus was saying about Rome and taxes and Caesar and why it was all so evil and what was the big problem and that the whole of the New Testament was all, everywhere, every page, every word Jesus ever uttered was the most radical political document that I have ever encountered. And I could not see it until now. And that Jesus proposes a different kind of politics. A politics based in abundance. A politics not of scarcity and control where the 1% screw all the rest of us but instead a politics where we say there is enough. And that our job becomes passing around the gifts with no expectation of anything in return. Freedom, Jubilee, Sabbath, the Kingdom of God. We're having a really big argument in our culture right now. It's an argument about the structure of gratitude. I went back and I listened to every single speech Donald Trump gave on the campaign trail. I read the transcripts of every single debate. Do you know how often he talks about gratitude? He talks about it all the time. And it's always the same way. I'm the best. I've given you this. You owe me. Calling the mayor of San Juan an ingrate. Those UCLA players, they didn't even say thank you that I kept them from jail. You terrible media people, I'm so good for your ratings and you can't even say you're grateful. It's everywhere. Is that we're looking at right now the rebuilding of a pyramid structure of gratitude. And what we have right in front of us is the alternative in the New Testament, in being grounded and being grateful.